an explosive email from the State Department that reveals that extra security requested by American diplomats in Libya before last month's deadly attack were denied. The email informs diplomats and their security team in Benghazi and Tripoli, including Ambassador Stevens, who was just killed, that their extra security for help in flying personnel and equipment around that country was rejected. ABC News has obtained it exclusively, and ABC's Jake Tapper is at the White House with more on this. And Jake, with the hearings coming up next week, this could be explosive. It could be a big deal. Absolutely right, Elizabeth. Uh, after the attack in Benghazi, one of the big questions is, did the Obama administration recognize the deteriorating security situation in Libya? And did they do everything they could to protect diplomatic personnel in that country? ABC News has obtained this internal email from the State Department in May uh, suggesting that a request by a security support team, this is about 16 special forces soldiers, to keep a small airplane, a DC-3, in that country to get around more easily, especially with all their weapons, was rejected, Elizabeth. How has the State Department reacted to the revelations in this email, especially given all the attention now to whether or not proper attention and security was given to the teams in Libya? The State Department says this is not a big deal. Commercial flights were available at the time, and they say there is no evidence that the absence of this airplane had any effect on what happened in September. But Republicans on the Hill with the House Oversight Committee, which will be holding hearings, say it is part of a pattern of officials in Washington denying security requests from Ambassador Stevens and others in Libya, Elizabeth.